Hey everyone, GP back at it with more Ark Survival Evolved. Say cheese! Okay, now that we've taken your photo, let's get on with the video. So Ark has recently released um, patch 253 and uh, 253 comes with some uh, Christmas content, uh, five new dinos and a special item and that is the camera you just saw on the screen. So we are gonna be looking at the camera in this video. So first of all, you're gonna to need to unlock the engram. Um, now this takes uh, 30 engram points that you need to have. Um, and I believe you have to be a survivor level of 50 to be able to unlock the uh, camera engram. The prerequisites also are spyglass and magnifying glass, so you need to have unlocked those engrams prior to being able to unlock the camera engram. And you also need a smithy as well to make it. Okay, so if we just go and have a look, here's my smithy that I've already prepared. So we got miscellaneous camera. So here, you, here it says you need 80 wood, 30 hide, 240 crystal, 80 black pearls, 100 sap, 150 obsidian, and 140 metal ingots, which is quite a lot to, um, to collect. But uh, as now the core game has times two rates, that should speed it up a bit. Um, but I have also um, got the uh, resources already uh, prepared. So with this uh, camera, you're gonna be able to take uh, photos in game of uh, scenery, your dinos, uh, whatever you want, and then you'll be able to paint those uh, uh, pictures onto the canvases in game as well, which is uh, quite a cool little uh, mechanic that they've added to the game. So let's go ahead and uh, make my camera. Here we go, one camera coming up. Um, and this is what it looks like. So as you saw uh, before, it looks like this. Um, and when you, uh, the way you, the way you use it is uh, like a weapon. If it has um, uh, sights, you uh, you press the button for looking down its sights, and then you can focus in on what your um, target is going to be for the photograph. And then you press the fire button to take the photograph. You can't take a photograph um, while you're standing like this. Uh, if you press the um, fire button when you're standing like this, it actually does change something, and that is uh, it enables and disables the flash. So when you press it, if I uh, put that back on. If I uh, press it, you'll be able to see at the top of the screen, it says camera flash disabled. Press it again, camera flash enabled. So you are able to take pictures at night time um, with a bit of a flash. So I'm gonna be looking at taking photos in the middle of the day without flash and photos at night with flash. Okay, so to help me take some photos, I've got four lovely, gorgeous models just waiting for me to take their picture. Let's go and meet them. Okay, not quite the models that I ordered, but uh, I think we're gonna have to go with them. You may think you're quite close when you're standing this close, but when you put the camera up, they are actually a bit further away. So uh, I'm gonna crouch down. So actually, I'm gonna, oh dear, oh dear, not while I'm taking photos. Okay, and you press the trigger, and you get your photo, look at that. So if I um, enable flash, and then change, I'm gonna say time of day, I'm gonna do uh, middle of the night. <laughs> oh, I think that was Raptor Claws. Raptor Claws is somewhere. So we've got flash enabled and we're gonna take a picture of the dodos at night. See how it comes out. And actually, you see a little flash as well, so uh, that, that kind of informs you that you do have flash on. So uh, let's see how these bad boys turned out. Okay, right, so I've got some canvases. I'm gonna put them up here. 
and then we're going to need lots of paint. So there's quite a few resources that you're going to need. Um, oh, I need a paintbrush as well. Okay, got my paintbrush. Now, when you go here, you can just click on load paints from this type. And you see um, there's a few pictures here. Um, I did some test ones before to make sure it worked and everything. But um, they're all uh, date and time based. So if you take quite um, a few uh, very quickly, then uh, it might get a bit confusing, but you can rename them. So uh, the first one, 1446, that's gonna be the um, daytime one without flash. And then the next one's gonna be the one with flash. So we're gonna need quite a lot of resources. So let's just get some paint. Okay, so this is the first one um, that was uh, taken in the middle of the day. So uh, we've got all the resources that you need and select and you can see here the picture what it's going to look like when it's finished and uh, it's looking pretty good very very bright. This is going to be really good for like you know when you've lost tames you've either lost tames um, as a result of another player killing your tames or it's your own stupidity um, or a game glitch a game bug which has caused death of many many uh, tames. This is going to be a way that you can take face graphic um, memory of your t your favourite tames and then be able to put them up in your base. Um, so if anything does happen to it, uh, rather than just relying on your own memory, you've actually got a nice canvas painting to remind you whenever you go around your base. So uh, that's a really cool idea for art to add. Um, and this is it. This is uh, the picture that I took at midday without flash. Um, now obviously uh, depending on what you're photographing and the background and all the colours it is going to take quite a lot of um, uh, colours, coloured resources to take uh, to make it but um, yeah that's the first one so we're going to go on now and do the second one which was the nighttime one hopefully I've still got enough paint yep um, here we go so same same sort of shot but um, this time you can kind of see um, in this image that it's a bit darker around the edge and it's lighter in the middle so uh, you can see that it has the flash effect in the picture there we go you see look at that it's um it's very dark in the background um, and uh, in the very center it's um, lighter and you can actually see so um, it's actually worked out really well. You can see the difference. They're the same picture, um, pretty much. And um, in the daytime, you can see um, a lot more of the background, what's going on in the, in the scenery. Uh, and in the night one, you can actually see the focus of your shots, which is very, very important. Um, but uh, yes, you can now take pictures of your favorite times, your favorite moments, and you can paint them and put them up um, and, uh, and keep them up there in your base. And if anything happens to your canvas, like let's say, for example, your base gets destroyed um, and therefore your canvases get destroyed, then they are still in low paints from this type and they are still there. Um, and as I, as I say, you can rename it. Photo one. Um, and uh, yeah, you can rename it so that you'll never uh, forget which one's which. As you can see, um, let's see if we can get a better shot. Down here, so um, I've taken two shots with this camera and as you can see, the orange bit down there is very small. So it's gonna take quite a few shots before the camera is destroyed and you're gonna need to repair it. Um, so you can get quite a few shots out of that, which is pretty good. So that's it, that is the camera that they've added. Um, it's a fun little thing for the holidays. Uh, I believe it's gonna be permanent in the game as well. It's not just for the holidays. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope you had a great Christmas and I wish you all the best uh, for 2017. And now it's started raining, which is pretty typical for the new year, uh, particularly in the UK. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.